In previous lecture, I discussed types of simple graph like complete graph, cycle, wheel, bipartite graph, complete bipartite graph. Today, I will discuss bipartite graph and matching. We can use bipartite graph for job assignment. For the job assignment, suppose we have M employees and N jobs. So, how we can assign that N job to M employees? So, every employee are skilled with more than one task. So suppose a group of four employees like A, B, C, D and project content requirement, architecture, implementation and testing. Suppose A is trained to do requirement and testing, B is trained to do architecture, implementation and testing, C is trained to do requirement, architecture and implementation, D is trained to do requirement. Now we can model this by using a bipartite graph. This is a bipartite graph. So here A is trend for requirement and testing. So there is a S from A to requirement and testing. B is trend with architecture, implementation and testing. So architecture, implementation, testing. There are three edges. And C is trend with requirement, architecture and implementation. So there is a S from C to requirement architecture and implementation and D is trained with only requirement. So there is one is from D to requirement. So we can use bipartite graph for job assignment and finding an assignment of job to employ can be thought of as a matching. Finding matching in a graph model. Here a new term called matching. What is matching? Suppose we have a graph containing B vertices and E edges and will remove some edges in such a way no two edges are adjacent. Means number of vertices will be same just will remove some edges such a way that no two edges are adjacent. So here matching M in a simple graph G equals to B E B for vertices E for edges is a subset of set E of edges of the graph such that no two edges are incident with this same vertices or in other words we can say a matching is a subset of edges such that S, T and U, V are distinct edges of the matching then S, T, U, V are distinct. Suppose we have four vertex like S, T, U, V and there is a edge S, T and U, V means there should not be edge S, V or ut no two edges should be adjacent now one example of matching suppose this is a graph we have four vertices and five edges there can be different matching for a graph now a b c d are the vertices so in matching also number of vertices will be same we just remove some edges here we removed c b edges a d edges and b d edges we just have C, D, A, B. We cannot add any edges like B, C. If you add B, C, then these two edges will be adjacent. So there should not be any adjacent edges. So this is a matching having two edges. There can be another matching possible also like A, B, C, D. There will be edge from A to D and B to C. Here it contain two edges. Here it contain two edges. Now another matching A, B, C, D. And there is a edge from B to D. But here we cannot add any more edges. Suppose we will add B, C. Then it will be adjacent. Suppose we will add A, D. Then it will be adjacent. So we cannot add any more edges. Now another matching A, B, C, D. Just one edge C to D. We can add one more edge A, B. But we cannot add C, B or A, D. So there are four matching M1, M2, M3 and M4. There can be multiple matching possible but here maximum matching are these two M1 and M2 having maximum number of edges. A vertex that is end point of a matching M said to be matched in M otherwise it is unmatched. So here we can say A is unmatched, C is unmatched, here A is unmatched, B is unmatched. In M1 and M2, all vertex are matched. If degree of B equals to 1 means matched. If degree of B equals to 0 means unmatched. Here you can see all degree are 
zero and a maximum matching is a matching with largest number of edges here m1 and m2 have maximum edges so m1 and m2 are maximum matching and the number of edges in maximum matching called as matching number so here matching number is 2 maximum number of edges is 2 in maximum matching so matching number is 2 and in case of bipartition complete matching possible we say that a matching m in a bipartite graph g equals to ve with the bipartition v1 and v2 v1 is one group v2 is another group is a complete matching from v1 to v2 if every vertex in v1 is the end point of an edge in the matching or in simple way you can say every vertex of v1 are matched then it is a complete matching so every vertex of v2 may or may not match but every vertex of v1 should be matched in case of complete matching now every complete matching in a bipartite graph is a maximum matching but reverse is not possible means suppose one is maximum matching then it may or may not be complete matching and for complete matching number of vertices in v1 should be less than or equals to number of vertices in v2 so if v1 length is less than or equals to v2 length then complete matching possible otherwise no it's not possible let's see one example if v1 length is greater than v2 is complete matching possible here v1 contain three vertex v2 contain two vertex and this is a bipartition so it is a bipartite graph now we'll do the matching for this in matching so we just add one is this is and another is this is and one vertex left so this vertex is left so v1 all vertex are not matched this vertex is left suppose it is a b c 1 2 here a vertex is left okay a vertex is not matched it's unmatched hence this is not a complete matching for complete matching v1 all vertex should be matched let's take an example suppose v1 v2 v1 contain two vertex v2 contain three vertex let a b here one two three there is a edge from a to one a to two a to three then b to one b to three suppose we will do matching of it so i am adding a edge from a to one and b to three it is a complete matching as all vertex of v1 are matched there are two vertex a b both are matched hence it's a complete matching that's why number of vertices in v1 should be less than or equals to number of vertices in v2 for complete matching if number of vertices in v1 is greater than number of vertices in v2 then complete matching is not possible in today lecture i discussed what is matching what is maximum matching what is complete matching in next lecture i will discuss hall's theorem and some examples of complete matching if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you